If you had opened Blender in the late 2000s, you would have found a 3D program that already had sculpting, animation, compositing, and even a game engine. On paper, it looked ambitious, but the way all these systems were glued together told a different story. The code base dated back to the 90s, when Blender started as an in-house tool at Neo Geo, and over the years, new features were added on top of that early structure. It worked, but it was fragile. Developers often describe the program as difficult to extend. Something as simple as adding a new operator could mean touching multiple areas of code. For users, this showed up in odd ways. Hotkeys were hard-coded, meaning you couldn't freely remap them, and panels didn't scale well as tools multiplied. The interface felt cramped once the project got complex. Also, Python existed, but its access to Blender was limited and inconsistent. In short, the foundation was holding Blender back, 